Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a purse collection video. I low key like collect purses. I love purses. However, I don't just like buy whatever purse. I like to buy like nicer quality bags and like staple bags that I will use like forever pretty much. I'm also not one of those girls that like changes their bag for like every outfit they wear. I kind of just like have a purse and then just use that purse for X amount of time and then I just change into a new purse. I don't have the energy to like switch my bag every time it needs to match my outfit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mainly have like designer bags, mainly Kate Spade, also some coach bags, but I wanna make it very clear, girl, I do not pay retail price for these bags. I don't think I would ever pay like 400 plus dollars for a bag, so we shop at the outlets, okay? Don't get it twisted. I'm pretty sure I I'm gonna show you guys these bags in order from like when I got them. I will also be going over the price of the bags if I can remember. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started, okay? So my first ever designer bag that I purchased was I believe 2019. For my 18th birthday, I bought myself a coach purse. I recently sold it though. I recently sold like three of my bags because I just didn't really use them or like them that much anymore. And I just was like, there's no point in keeping it if I don't actually use it or whatever. But it was a blue coach purse. I did show it in my birthday haul from my 18th birthday. It's on my channel. It's super old if you are interested in that. I don't know might be super cringe and awkward and weird but <laughs> so i don't have that one to show you but that is my very first bag but i literally hadn't used it since i pretty much bought it because i don't like blue so it's gone anyways my next purse after that was this cave spade bag so this is the dome crossbody and it's this beautiful like white cream color it has this nice long strap and i think it's so cute the inside looks like this it's like this beigey pink with the kate spade logos and i bought this wallet to go with it since it's the outlet they don't always have like the matching wallet so i ended up getting this one it's like a nude and white color block moment it's one of these like weird wallets there's no like billfold at the time that i bought this wallet i didn't really have cash ever i believe i bought this in 2020 and i did not have cash because it just didn't work a job where i got cash but since then i'm a server now and i have a ton of cash all the time so this wallet just doesn't really work for me anymore. I really like this bag. I honestly haven't used it in a minute, but I think it's a really good bag to have. So that's the first one. I don't remember how much this was. I want to say maybe it was around like 60 to $70 for the bag alone. And then I don't remember how much the wallet was. This was a while ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> the next bag I purchased, I believe in 2021. And this was for my 19th birthday. So it's this beautiful satchel Kate Spade. And it's like the most gorgeous like bubblegum pink color ever and i did put this rapunzel's tiara this is a disney pin i got this in disneyland i went to disneyland in 2021 and i got this pin there and i put it on this bag and it's just been there ever since i don't really know why i did that because now there's just like a gaping hole in the bag if i take it out which was really dumb of me <laughs> but and this is actually my current bag that i've been using so i have like just all my stuff in here right now i did get the matching wallet because duh so there it is i did get this for my birthday and i did i do believe my brother did contribute towards this purchase so i don't remember exactly how much it was i want to say with the bag and the wallet combined i want to say about like 150 maybe maybe like 170 something like that but my brother helped pay for it. So the next bag I purchased, I believe the following year in 2022 over the summer, I saw this bag on TikTok and I was like immediately yes. And I had to go and get it. And I was so shocked that they still had it, you guys. It is this coach strawberry bag. Sh like literally shut up. This bag is perfect. It's this beautiful like creamy white leather and it has these beautiful strawberries all over the bag with the gold hardware it is so stunning i love this bag so much like it's so cute and then the inside is just this beige color and this is the wallet that i have i actually bought this wallet in 2019 when i bought the blue coach bag this one matches this strawberry bag perfectly so it works the strawberry bag when i purchased it was 120 which i would pay that a million times over because this bag is literally perfect 
This next bag I purchased at the end of 2022. I bought this the day after Christmas. My mom, my sister and I, we all go day after Christmas shopping and Kate Spade was having like a big sale. So we went and this was the bag that I bought. So it's this beautiful like beigey sand color and then the sides, it's like this creamy white. I just love how neutral it is. And I don't have any style bag like this. So it has like three compartments. So two on the side and then there's a zipper pocket in the middle. This bag is huge and honestly, it's heavy. I used this bag before I recently switched to that pink one and girl, this bag is heavy. It's big and there's just so much space in it that when you put all your stuff in it, like girl, it is just heavy. But I love it because there's so much space in it and I did get the matching wallet. So here that is. It's that kind of two-tone vibe as well, which I really like. We'll see in this video. I'm sure you can already tell, but I love pink and I love neutrals. So this is like, yeah, love this. And I want to say the bag and the wallet was around like 160 for both of them. Next bag I purchased was actually last year. I bought this in spring of last year. I want to say it was like April of 2023 that I bought this bag. Oh my gosh. I love this bag so much. This is where my small bag era kind of started. <laughs> I used this bag all summer last year and I loved it. It was honestly so nice having a smaller bag and it's this beautiful pale yellow. My next favorite color after pink is definitely a cute pastel yellow like this so i loved this bag that is just what the inside looks like it's really small it has like these card holders built in which is kind of nice i did buy a card holder to go with it separately and i bought this one i did get this bag on clearance so they don't have any matching wallets or anything so i grabbed this one from their spring collection it's so cute it's just this like florally card holder so when i purchased this my bestie actually gave me she had like a kate spade gift card that she gave me and it had like 50 bucks on it and i believe after the gift card it was 70 dollars so i want to say it was around like 130 for both of these i'm like yeah i'll tell you the prices of all of them and i'm just like i don't know i don't remember but i love this bag and it's so cute and i definitely am going to be using this again for the summer because it's just so perfect i love her the next bag i also purchased this one in 2023 this was my birthday present to myself so i bought this towards like the end of august beginning of september of 2023 and here it is it's this little coach bag again this nice like creamy white color my favorite part is the strap why is it unhooked what is going on here it's this beige monogram print on the strap and i love this i love like neutrals like this it is so cute i'm obsessed and i really enjoy like the shape of this bag so it has like these pockets in the front and back and then there's like a zipper in the middle and girl this was the matching wallet bag i got so i believe they had this like floral collection over the summer i didn't get anything from it though but they had like the wallets left over but i thought this would match really well because it has that beige monogram print on it but it's cute and has flowers i'm obsessed i carried this bag for a good minute in like september october and unfortunately i got some staining on the bag right here i believe this was from my jeans like the dye transferred over i have never had that problem with any of my other bags so that really sucks i don't know what that's about I, I don't know if anyone knows how i can remove that let me know because it is just all over right here and that really sucks i want to say it was around 150 for both of these the next bag i bought is not designer but i thought i would include it because it's part of my collection i bought this at burlington i think in october and it is this really cute betsy johnson bag so it looks like this it's like this quilted print with these hearts and i love the two-tone pink the sides have sh uh, stripes on them and the inside is so cute it's this black and white pinstripe design with these little hearts and stars and stuff i don't know i think it's a pretty cute bag and it's definitely nice if you want a cute bag but you don't want to bring one of your nice ones out because it's gonna get ruined or whatever and i believe this was like 20 bucks at burlington the next bag i bought in november of 2023 and this bag went viral you guys and oh my gosh i saw this on my tiktok when i saw it and i kept like clicking on the comments like it kept refreshing and refreshing like i pretty much saw the video as it was going viral and like it just kept like blowing up and there were like so many comments 
and I was like I need this bag I go online there's like one left I add to cart and then it like canceled out and it was like sold out and then you couldn't see it and then you could see it and it was like girl like it was stressful I ended up calling my local Kate Spade outlet here and I asked if they had the bag still and she's like yeah we have one left I was like can you put it on hold for me and she was like yeah sure I was like I'll be there in 20 minutes and <laughs> girl I ran, I booked it there and I got the last one in my city and oh my gosh, I've never done that for a bag before, but I knew I needed this bag and it's backwards. <laughs> she does not disappoint girl. Oh my gosh, if you saw this like last holiday season, this bag went totally viral. So it's the Kate Spade tote bag and it has like this fuzzy faux fur going on. They had a black version and then also a white version and then of course, the pink version and I needed this bag. In person, it's definitely more of like a lilac-y pink. It's kind of like a purpley pink, but I still think it's so cute and I love this bag. I love this bag so much. So this is what the strap looks like. It's definitely different than anything that I have, which that's why I like it a lot. And then here's the inside. It's just a nice big open bag. And I love this bag too, because it's very flimsy. Kate Spade bags are so structured and it honestly kind of irritates me sometimes because I'm like fighting to like open the bag and like get my stuff out of it. So I love this one because it's nice and like flimsy and you can really just like get in there. And they didn't have any matching wallets. I'm not sure if there was a matching wallet for this bag, but this was the one that I purchased during the holiday season. They always have their like tinsel collection come out like their sparkly stuff and i do have this bag that i got like a couple years ago from that collection i ha i did have a tinsel bag i recently sold that one though i also have this wallet you can't tell me this is not the cutest thing ever this is so freaking cute i love this wallet it's too small for me but anyways so i have that one too but yeah i got this one this time this next bag i purchased in january of this year of 2024 and this one is a juicy bag. I bought this at, I believe another Burlington and it looks like this, it's just white and it has like the monogram kind of embossed on there with this little gold heart. And the inside is like the black print. This is my work bag. I am a server, like I mentioned, and this is the bag I bring with me to work. It has all my serving stuff in it. I have my apron, I have my server book and just a bunch of other stuff that I need for work, mints, chapstick, Advil, things like that. So I use this for work and it's great. It's perfect. It's a great size and I love it. I really love Juicy Couture and I love their bags and I just wish I could find more. I always see TikToks of people finding Juicy bags and I just want more so bad, but I just can never find them. I believe this was $30 um, as well from Burlington. So yeah. Okay, the last bag I have to show you guys is another Kate Spade and this one has a bit of a story behind it. So here it is girl okay so it's another small bag and it is the most perfect strawberry print recently found this bag on facebook marketplace and i was like oh my god i need it and like i was trying to not spend money and i was like do i really need it though like i don't know but i ended up just pulling the trigger and you guys this bag oh my god the seller sent me on this like wild goose chase quick story time i messaged her initially and i she was selling it for 150 i offered her 130 i said hi would you take 130 i'll pay cash day goes by no response message her again hi is it still available three more days go by no response at that point after after it had been four days from my original message at that point i was like it's just not meant to be but i was just like but i want the bag but i want the bag so i messaged her one more time and i said hi is it still available Finally, like that morning, like the next morning, at like four in the morning, she messages me back and was like, yes, when can you meet? We agreed on a time to meet, like whatever. We were gonna meet um, in front of this Plato's closet in my city at 10 a.m. Tuesday morning. I have class Tuesday morning. I have to leave my city at 10.30 to get to my class on time because it's in the next town over, okay? So I pull up to this Plato's closet at 10 a.m. I text her, hey girl, I'm here, I'm in front, I'm in the white Toyota. And she responds with, oh my God, hey girl. Bitch what? Bitch what? What? <laughs> and she was like, I'm so sorry, I lost track of time. Like I will be leaving in like five minutes. And I was like, 
okay okay mind you the night before she texted me confirming hey making sure we're meeting at plato's closet at 10 a.m on tuesday i said yes girl i'll be there so she even confirmed with me the date and the time the night before and then now she lost track of time you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me like you gotta be kidding me and mind you she lived in the next town over where my school was right like she lives like 20 minutes away from where i was like oh my god i was like girl so i wait in my car and i end up waiting for over 30 minutes for her and it gets to a point where i'm like i need to go like i have class i had a test that day i was like i need to go i waited till like 10 33 and i texted her i was like girl i'm sorry i need to leave like i have class i'm gonna be late whatever so I leave and this whole time I'm driving, I'm trying to drive to my school. She's texting me. She's like, I'm so sorry. I just got here. Like literally like three minutes after I left, she got there. Of course, of course. Got to the freeway and I realized there was insane traffic. It was not normally like that. Like it was so, it was like bumper to bumper, like so much traffic. And I was like, what the heck? Are you kidding me? It was just like, there is no way I'm going to get to school on time. So I got really upset and like, I'm just... I hate being late. I don't like being late places. Like I would literally rather not show up than be late. Like I cannot stand being late. So I end up driving away and I call my boyfriend. I'm like crying because I'm so upset. I'm going to miss class. I'm like pissed at this girl because she had me waiting for her for over half an hour when she was the one who confirmed the time with me. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. And like part of me was like, I want the bag still, but I don't want her to get the money for it because like she pissed me off, you know? And now I'm missing my class because of this whole thing. You know what I mean? I texted her. I was like, hey, I'm not going to go to class today because I'm going to be insanely late. I tried to jab at her a little bit because like you made me late, girl, because you took over half an hour. I was like, are you still there? Like, I can meet back up with you. And she's like, okay, I'll be right there. She was very apologetic. We did end up meeting up and she was like, I'm so sorry. Like, thank you for waiting for me, like whatever. And I really don't have any patience for people who don't respect other people's time. I just think it's really rude and disrespectful and entitled when people have poor time management skills, especially when you are meeting up with somebody else. So I got the bag. I do feel like she could have knocked a little bit more money off of it because I had to wait for her for over half an hour. But whatever. And you know what's so crazy too is when I texted her initially, hey girl, I'm here. And she was like, oh my God, hey girls. I lost her for time, whatever. When we were having that conversation, she's like, oh, by the way, like I wanted to know if you wanted to buy anything else that I just posted on Facebook Marketplace. And she sends me like all these screenshots of like all of her other listings. And she's like, yeah, like if you want to buy it, like I'll bring it with me now. And I'm just like, the audacity to have me waiting for your ass and you are trying to sell me more shit like no and it was like dumb stuff like her gymshark leggings and like stuff like that i'm like girl bye like no <laughs> we got the bag so i paid 130 dollars for this bag do i think it's worth it a little bit honestly yes it's in really good condition it's like basically brand new like there is nothing wrong with this bag it is in perfect condition also you cannot get this bag anymore like kate spade does not make this bag anymore so i think that's also part of the price but it has like the cutest baby pink strap and then the strawberry design all over it and then it opens on the side and then here is it open like this she is so cute <laughs> anyways that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any like questions or anything let me know down below i love my bags and i use them and they're great and they're like investment pieces for me anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video